One of the players that has been consistently part of the team since Jurgen Klinsmann took over has been Kyle Beckerman. Either as a starter or valuable substitute, Kyle has carved out a unique and very important role on the U.S. men's national team. But he's hungry for more and focused on claiming what he believes is his lifelong dream that lies just ahead. On this episode of Opportunity Knox, Kyle Beckerman talks about not being afraid to take the lead and his goals for playing with the U.S. Well, I think what I'm trying to bring to the, the national team is um, that you can count on me, um, that I'm going to be, you're, you're going to be getting the same same person and the same player every every day. Um, you know, there's not going to be ups and downs. It's going to be pretty steady. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm willing to put it all out there to help the team. And that's, uh, that's going to be every day in practice and, and every game possible. And um, I think if you can continue that mindset and, um, you know, I think a lot of guys on this team have that same mindset. And if we, you know, can gather that all together, we can be pretty dangerous. Being that number six role, it's, um, you know, a lot of the things don't show up on the stat sheet, and um, and that's fine with me. And, and I continue to always want to just come in and, and try and help the team any way I can. And if that's starting, if that's coming off the bench, or you know, maybe you don't get in. It, it's it's being there at practice, training, and, and making sure the the guys are ready. And and, um, and you know, you you want to keep showing Jurgen that you know you're going to keep putting the work in, and you're going to be an asset to the team no matter what it is and that you're also you're going to be ready and uh, just continue to, to keep that mindset. Well, I think the next level in my mind is um, just trying to improve every day. And uh, it doesn't matter how old you are, uh, how young you are. You got to look each day as a chance to get better, especially when you get in these camps. Uh, the level's higher uh, and, and it's able to, you know, take your game to a, to a higher level quicker than, uh, than usually. And um, so I think it's just keep trying to to learn and keep trying to to uh, improve, and and you can never stop that. No matter no matter what part of your career you're in, you got to keep keep pushing and keep pushing. And, and if it's working on fitness, if it's working on uh, you know your touch or, or the way you you get in with the team, and it, you always got to keep improving. It the first time you, you get stagnant is the time you need to retire. And so every day is a chance to get better, and, and it's a chance to improve. The World Cup is getting closer, and I think every World Cup, uh, you come into these January camps, and the next thing you know, it's, it is right, right around the corner. And when somebody says it, it, uh, it doesn't really seem like it's going to be, but then it, it really is. But the way I look at it is, is you, you can't look that far ahead. Even though it is getting closer, it's still a ways away. And so you got to just keep, keep it to each call up and uh, be prepared for that call up and, and be ready. And then if the next one comes, you gotta be ready for that. And, it, and you just take it one call up at a time. The, the moment you, you start looking at the World Cup and, and thinking that you're almost there, I think that's a mistake and something that could hurt you. So I just look at it, you know, it, it is closer, but there's still uh, some mountains we gotta climb and, and myself have to climb and you gotta just keep steady. And, and um, you know, hopefully, you know, when that final call up comes that your, your, your name's on the list.